In this video, we are breaking down one of the biggest threats in cybersecurity, malware. You have probably heard the term before, but what exactly is malware? How does it infect devices? And why are there over a billion malware variants out there? Stick around because by the end of this video, you will understand how hackers use malicious software, the different types to watch out for, and most importantly, how to protect yourself. Let's dive in. In this lecture, we will cover the following topics. We will start by identifying and understanding various types of attacks that can target computer systems. Next, we will define what application attacks are and how they differ from other types of attacks. We will then explore how threat actors leverage application attacks to compromise systems and data. Finally, we will discuss adversarial AI attacks where attackers use AI techniques to create sophisticated and hard to detect attacks. What is malware? Malware is any software designed to harm your device or steal your data without your permission. In legal terms, it's called a computer contaminant, which covers anything from viruses that delete your files to spyware that silently watches your keystrokes. The key word here is unauthorized. Legitimate apps ask for your consent. Malware sneaks in behind your back. And hackers have a lot of creative ways to do this. Here is where it gets scary. As of 2024, cybersecurity researchers detect over 20 million new malware variants every single month. That's roughly 600,000 per day. In total, there are now more than 1 billion unique malware strains in the wild. Why so many? Because every time security companies develop better defenses, hackers tweak their malware to evade detection. It's a never-ending arm race. Types of malware. Not all malware works the same way. To understand the threat, think of malware like a toolkit. Hackers pick the right tool for the job. Need to lock down a hospital's file? They will probably use ransomware. Want to spy on a victim? Spyware secretly records everything they type. Some malware deceives you, like fake antivirus scams, while others evade detection. The most common type is Trojan, which disguise themselves as harmless software until they strike. How to protect yourself? Now, the good news is you are not powerless against malware. First, always keep your devices and apps updated. Those patches fix security holes hackers exploit. Second, use a trusted antivirus, uh, even on Macs. Third, be skeptical. Don't open email attachments from strangers and avoid shady download sites. Finally, back up your data regularly. If ransomware hits, you can wipe your devices and restore from backup. No ransom is needed. Types of malware attack. Malware isn't one size fits all. Hackers pick the right weapon for the job. Need to extort money? A ransomware encrypts file until you pay up. Want to steal password? A Trojan disguises itself as a game or invoice. Spyware hides in the background, logging your keystrokes, while adware bombards you with fake, you have won a prize pop-ups. And the sneakiest rootkits, they burrow into your operating system like digital ticks, making them nearly impossible to detect. Imprison malware. Imagine turning on your computer and seeing a screen that says all your files are locked. Pay $500 in Bitcoin to get them back. That's ransomware. 
malware that literally imprisons your data until you pay up. Some versions even pretend to be the FBI, accusing you of illegal activities. Other fake software license warning to trick you into paying. And then there is crypto malware, a sneakier cousin. It encrypts your files without showing a ransom note upfront, so you might not realize you are infected until it's too late. For example, in 2017, WannaCry ransomware hit hospitals, delaying surgeries because patient records were locked. That's how dangerous these digital kidnappers are. Malware that launch attack. Some malware doesn't just harm your computer. It turns it into a weapon to attack others. Now let's take a look at launch malware family. The first type is virus. Viruses are like digital parasites. File-based viruses cling to documents or apps waiting for you to open them. Have you ever heard of Melissa? It infected Word documents in the 90s, mailing itself to your contacts. Fileless viruses are sneakier. They live in your RAM, leaving no traces. And armored viruses. They're the ninjas of malware, using tricks like split infection, hide, like hiding code in pieces, and mutation to dodge antiviruses. The second type is worm. Worms are viruses on a steroid. They do not need you to click anything. They slither through network automatically. The WannaCry worm exploited a Windows flaw to hold hospitals hostage in 2017. And the third type is bots. Bots turn your device into a hacker's puppet. Thousands of in infected bots from a botnet used to crash websites like DDoS or send phishing emails from your PC without you knowing. Snooping malware. Imagine someone looking over your shoulder 24-7, noting every website you visit, every password you type, even your private messages. That's a snooping. Let's break down the two worst offenders. Spyware is like a digital stalker. It hides in free downloads or fake apps, then silently collects your data, your location, browsing history, even your Netflix habits. Some advanced spyware like Dark Hotel specifically target high profile victims. Keyloggers are even scarier. They record every single keystroke, meaning uh, your passwords, credit card numbers, and embarrassing Google search are all fair game. Some keyloggers are physical devices plugged into your keyboard, like USB dongle, while others infect your operating system. The creepiest part, you might not notice them for months. That's why checking app permissions and using a password manager is a must. Deceptive malware. Some malware doesn't just attack, it lies to your face. So now let's take a look at deceptive malware. The master of disguise. Pops or potentially unwanted programs are like digital hitchhikers. You download a free app and suddenly boom, your browser is flooded with pop-ups, your homepage has been hijacked and search results redirected to sketchy sites. Have you ever seen those your flash player is outdated alerts? That's a pop in action. The second type is Trojan. Trojans are even worse. They pretend to be harmless, but once installed, they steal data or drop ransomware. The most dangerous type is rats, remote access Trojans. These let hackers control your PC as if they're sitting right in front of it, turning your webcam into their personal spy cam. 
So what's the golden rule? If an offer looks too good to be true, it's probably malware in a cheap tuxedo. Evasive malware. What if I told you there is malware so stealthy it can erase itself from your task manager? These are evasive malware, the digital equivalent of an invisible saboteur. The first type is backdoors. Backdoors are secret tunnels hackers carve into your system. Imagine your antivirus is a bouncer checking IDs at the door. Backdoors sneak in through the fire escape, some like shadow path, even hiding legitimate software updates. Next type is logical bomb. Logical bombs are malware time capsules. They sit quietly in your system until bang. A specific date, login, or command triggers them. This gruntled IT admins have used these two wipe company servers on their last day of work. And the third type is rootkits. These are the ultimate ghosts. They burrow into your operating system's course, core like a parasite rewriting its host DNA. Have you ever seen a virus in task manager one second and gone the next? That's a rootkit erasing its own footprints and hiding other malware alongside it. What are application attacks? Application attacks target the weak spots in the software you use every day, like social media apps, banking sites, or even a smart fridge interfaces. Hackers exploit coding flaws to hijack data or take control. Have you ever seen SQL injection in the news? That's when attackers inject malicious database queries through a login form. Or they might brute force uh, weak passwords in an app's API. No software is perfect, and threat actors love that. Types of application attack. Hackers do not always brute force their way in. They knock on the front door by exploiting apps. Web servers are prime targets because they're like digital bank vaults packed with user data. Here's how attackers crack them open. The first method is called scripting attack. Hackers inject malicious scripts into legit websites. For example, stealing your Gmail session cookie to log in as you. Next type is injection attacks. Type OR 1 equals 1 into a login field. That's SQL injection. It manipulates database to dump password. The third type is request forgery. Have you ever clicked a link that secretly transferred money from your logged in bank tab? That's request forgery. And the fourth type is replay attack. Hackers intercept your encrypted login token and reuse it to Im impersonate you. The Equifax breach happened because of uh, one unpatched web application flaw. So the lesson here is update your servers or hackers will update them for you. How threat actors use application attacks. Here's how hackers turn application flaws into paydays. First, they scan for vulnerabilities, maybe a missed patch or a dev who forgot to sanitize user inputs. Then they weaponize it. For example, they might upload a malicious script to a forum that lets user post images. Finally, they strike stealing credit card information, defacing websites, or even using the app to spread malware. Do you remember uh, Equifax? Hackers stole 147 million records because of one unpatched flaw. Adversarial AI attacks. AI isn't just for good guys. Hackers abuse it too. In poisoning attacks, they corrupt training data, 
so your spam filter starts allowing phishing emails. Evasion attacks tweak inputs to fool AI, like those weird pattern glasses that trick facial recognition. There is even a black market for stolen AI models. Imagine a scammer cloning your bank's fraud detection AI to bypass it. As AI gets smarter, so do the attacks.